Hey everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be notified on when I upload. So for this video, we are going to be doing a set for Savvy Land. Um, they ended up sending me two of their kits. This is what they look like. For this first kit, this is their Builder Gel Kit. I've actually did this kit um, prior in another video. I will link that in the description box. I actually have two of their build a gel kits. So I'm gonna link both of them um, because I just think like they're so awesome. They're very affordable. I believe this is going for $20. You get your little nail forms. You do get three brushes with the kit. Obviously you get your little manual. I'm not going to open these because I do want to give someone this particular set. But since I already do have this um, in my own collection, I'm going to open the ones that I already have just so you guys can see what these colors look like. Rainbow yellow. Rainbow green. White. Rainbow red. Rainbow orange. Rainbow purple, pink mauve, transparent, beloved girl, and the last color is baby blue. So once again, that is what all of the colors look like. I am going to leave this link in the description box. I believe they give you 20 forms. And like I said, once again, they do give you the three brushes. Um, but of course, since I already have one for my collection, I am going to give this to a lucky someone. Once I hit that 20K, this is going to be included in the giveaway along with some other items, which I'm excited to give away. <laughs> so on top of this, this is the second kit that they sent me. And this one is different. This one is their, um... What is this? This is their painting gels. This is what they look like. It's a different kinds of labeling, which is really cute. Um, but they give you this pack of art brushes and this is pretty, I think this is the ones that I actually use and I purchased from Amazon. So the fact that they give you this in the kit is like, I'm loving that. Um, um, and then this is what the colors look like. Once again, these are the painting gels. Um, this is called yellow and it's actually a little bit darker than a yellow. It's kind of more like a mustard yellow. I really like this color though, it's pretty. It's not your regular yellow. Black. This one is labeled brown, but clearly you can see it is not brown. It's more of like a burgundy maroon color. Um, a very pretty color. I just think they labeled it the wrong colors definitely not brown this one is apricot this next color is blue we have white um this one is called blackish green um it's a normal green i wouldn't say it's extremely dark so i wouldn't really necessarily call it a blackish green color but that's what they're calling this color. Red. This one is violet. So some of these you do need to mix because I just you can see there's like this white um in it. But this one is called violet, and it's a little bit of a darker purple. This one is called green. I don't know where green is. This is definitely like an aqua or like a light turquoise color um it's more aqua than anything but yeah i don't know why they would call this green and then the other one blackish green but anyway this is a very pretty color i just think the name should be a little bit different you know um this one is called dark pink once again this is more of a coral color 
a like a medium to dark coral color. I don't know where they're getting their names from. <laughs> Once again, an extremely pretty color. But yeah, whoever is naming your colors, Savilens, um, yeah, I think you need to talk to them because this is not dark pink. Just saying. Last color is called Cayenne and dun dun dun. Look what we got. We got green. Wow. <laughs> Once again, definitely not a Cayenne color. Um, definitely more of a lighter green or like a medium to lime green. I'm not even gonna say lime green. It's just this plain and simple green. Like it's like a light green. Um but yeah. Anyway, um, I'm actually really excited to try this gel paint, even though the colors, majority of the colors don't match the name, just saying. Um, I also kind of wish that the color was more so represented on the bottle itself. Like, I know maybe the, oh, that's what it is. So what they did is they matched the background of each one to, I see what they did to the um to the color. Anyway, enough talking about that. But we are going to be using this. Um, like I said, for this other set, I am going to be doing a giveaway with that one. So I'm not gonna necessarily use those colors or this build de gel. I might use a different build de gel. It's still gonna be Savilan, but it's from their previous um collection. And it's this one. This nude is so pretty. How pretty is this? So I've used this before and I was like in love with this color. So I am going to be using this as well as um, the clear build gel. But once again, it is still all gonna be Savilan just from their other kit that I have. So for this set on top of that, I am going to be using this drill bit set. I, this is from Dashboard Beauty. First off, can I just say how cute this packaging this packaging is? It's so cute and teeny, love it. Um, so right when you open it up, you know, obviously they're telling you how to take it out. I guess some people were struggling to remove the bits. Um, they do give you these little cards just a little bit of information there um the faq dashboardbeauty.com um where you can contact them their email um their little thank you for purchasing oh they do have like their little instagram there you go their little instagram so you guys can follow and see what they are all about at dashboard beauty so go check them out if you are interested first of all can i just say i am loving how cute these things look love me some gold um so you do get three different kinds in this little set and can i just say it is six 1697 very affordable not one bit is 16 the whole thing is 16 so you get three different bits for 16 and 97 cents super affordable um so let's talk about the bits so this first one is to what is this one so this one is to debulk and to smooth and i think these are like medium i am lying this looks like a medium this looks like another medium to fine. Oh, this is a medium. And then this is more, looks like a coarse, but it has a blue band. Blue bands usually mean medium. So I don't know. On the actual website itself, they don't really give you much description on each bit. They give you a quick one, two. This is to take it off. This is to clean the cuticle. This is to, um, what did they say? This one is to remove the gel polish. Like that is it. So one thing that I do wish they would do is just give more description on the bits itself, how coarse each one is and what each one's purpose is for in the description, like to detail. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, so this is what 
um, I am using. I'm using my Ready Guana Practice Hand. I've already got my tips on. I've already scuffed the surface of the nail so the gel can stick to it. And we are going to go more for a square, long square look for this design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this nude pink color. This, um, like I said, I'm going to link the kit that this one came in. And I am going to, I hope I have enough. I'm going to do, what I want to do is I want to do a smile line across all of them. They're all going to be similar, but with different colors. But for the smile line itself, or should I say extended nail bed, I'm going to use this color for each one. And for this step, what I like to do is I just make sure that I have that smile line, the shape that I want it. I do flash cure this like this, and then I go on to building that product because I, as you can see, it is extremely flat. Um, there is no buildup at all. I just want to have a base um, layer of where exactly I want that product to go. Oh, I just messed it up. So for me, I'm just going to flash cure that really fast. And then this is where I would just go in and just build up that product. And just like that, I'm gonna do that to all of the nails. Okay, so from here, this is what they are looking like. Um, so now I'm just gonna go in, I am going to use some gel cleanser and then I'm going to just clean the surface of these nails and then I'm gonna go in with a 100, 180 grit hand file and start shaping these smile lines and really define that shape. So I'm just going in with some alcohol and removing all that dust, really just scrubbing it, cleaning that surface because from here we are going to go in with some of that paint. So the, the Savyland art paint, that well painting gel that I'm going to go in is this one which is called Dark 
pink, which you all know to me is not really a dark pink. It's more of like a deep coral color. Um, and then we are going to go in with the color apricot. Um, yellow. And then we are going to go in with this green. With the one that they labeled green. But to me it's more of like a turquoise color. Um, so we're going to go in with these four colors. And what I was thinking was doing an ombre transitioning it from nail to nail with these only four colors. So like this one will be the green to the yellow, the yellow to the apricot, the apricot to the dark pink, and then the dark pink to once again back to this um, green color. So yeah, that's my ideas. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start with the pinky and I'm going to use these two colors first. Go right up along that sidewall. If it goes on the top, it's okay because we're gonna file that away anyway. So I'm going to go make sure I'm up that sidewall. I'm gonna drag it down. Cleaning my brush, and then I'm gonna go in with the yellow on the other side, doing the same thing. Now, when it comes to that center part, I'm just gonna clean this real fast, and I'm just gonna do a swipe down. I'm just going to keep swiping until those two colors blend together. I'm actually going to go back and forth. And then you will see it slowly start blending in together those two colors. See that? That's it. Those two colors are blended. So I'm going to flash cure that for at least 15 seconds and then move on to the next nail. When I say flash cure, it's either 15 to 30 seconds max. And if I were to do a full cure, it's going to be 60 seconds. But this is just a flash cure, so I'm just going to do 15 seconds. So that's the first one. And then I'm going to move on to this one. And I'm going to pick up the two next colors, which is the yellow and then that coral color. Okay, from here, I'm just going to go in and start encapsulating all these nails with the clear builder gel.
So this is how they are looking. I did cure it for a full 60 seconds just to make sure everything was fully cured. Now I'm just gonna go in with some gel cleanser and start removing that sticky layer. And then I'm gonna go in and start filing and reshaping these. I'm gonna go in with my 100, 180 grit hand file first. And then I'm gonna go in with my drill. Okay, so from here, after I filed the sidewalls, I'm gonna go in with this barrel drill bit. Once again, this came from Dashboard Beauty. Um, I wanna say this is a medium coarse drill bit. It doesn't say on the website or even on the package or box that it came in. Um, but I'm gonna use this at 13,000 RPM. I'm gonna go all over the surface and reveal that smile line. I do want to say about this bit because I already feel it um this is made for righties I'm a lefty so me working from left to right it's not really physically debulking how exactly I want it um so the teeth are made in a specific way and I could feel it as I'm working with it um, and even when you're looking down the barrel of the drill bit, you could see the teeth are made in one direction and which is made for righties. Um, I mean, I can use it, like I'm still gonna use it throughout the whole set, but if the drill bit was made universal for lefties and righties, it would be much faster for me to work on this hand. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try this bit to see how this one feels. Yeah, this one feels so much better. So from here, I'm just gonna go in and buff over the surface of the nails. And what I like to use, I like to use this buffer. This buffer is from Pine. I just like the shape of it and the fact that it's big, you know? I don't know. I'm I'm starting to like how these feel a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna go over and just buff the surface smooth. So from here, I kind of want to do a little more line work. Um, I'm thinking about, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I think I'm gonna use the opposite or a different color that I use for the nail. So I'm not gonna do the green or yellow for this. So I'm gonna jump to that darker pink color um, and then just alternate each color with the nail like that. 
So I'm assuming this, this is really thick, like the consistency of it. And I didn't really pay attention to it as I was applying it to the bottom. Um, so for me to do any kind of line work, I feel like I need to thin it out. So I am going to take um, each color and then mix it in with a little bit of clear polish just to make it softer and looser um, because I'm gonna go in and start doing some line work and this is just really thick Okay, so I'm just going to cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, and final step, we are just going to go in with some top coat. All right, you guys, so this is what they look like. Um, I am like my own worst critic. I cannot even tell you how many times I'll do a set and then critique every little thing about it. This was my first time doing these type of like abstract line work. I mean, it was just a little swirl. So yeah, let me know what you guys think are you your own worst critic as well like i know for sure i am i will beat myself down and it just gives me a little more push just to keep practicing just to get like my line work down um my blends of shading even encapsulation wise like i have so many little bubbles in there <laughs> but everything that i've used in this video i am going to link for you guys in the description box um so let me know what you guys think of this set and if you've enjoyed this video as always thank you everyone for taking time out to watch this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media accounts and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one